Begin. A single word that started a movement. Founded on the famed Three Mile Booty Loop, a biking and jogging hotspot in Charlotte, North Carolina, the 24 Hours of Booty has become something very special. Definitely, you can't forget the name. 24 Hours of Booty is like nothing else. Most people think it's a race, and I have to spend some time saying it's not a race at all. It's a ride, and it's a ride with a purpose. Three-year survivor, right here. But I think that's the great thing about the event, because it, it has a catchy name, and, and I think it, it causes people to, to take a second look and, and, and learn about it. And I think once they learn about the event, then it's easy to get behind. So if 24 Hours of Booty isn't a race, and it isn't just a bike ride, what exactly is 24 Hours of Booty all about? When my wife passed, she was 37 years old, which is just uh, way too young to die of brain cancer. And uh, we've been very fortunate that so many people have chosen to get involved with this, this event. That's what Booty is so awesome about. It brings everybody together for a great cause to help fight against cancer. So replace racing and heated competition. I just rode 100 miles! Woo! With fundraising and overwhelming compassion. Woo! Woo! And what you get is a movement known as the 24 Hours of Booty. That's a big reason why we're here riding is to, to raise money to help fund more research for that uh, really horrible disease. At a very young age, my uh, mother contracted leukemia. And so I understood the hardships of, of dealing with a family member that uh, was going through cancer. Every five seconds you were reminded that this event is about so much more than just going out and getting exercise. And in the end, I did a lot more physically than I thought I was going to be able to do and it seemed much easier. That's not to say our riders aren't competitive, but off the loop, they are. And it shows in their fundraising efforts. From the event's inception in 2002, 24 Hours of Booty has grown over 100% each year. In fact, over 1,300 riders raised more than $750,000 in 2007 alone. The event's explosive growth can be attributed to many factors. Putting on a first-class event is just one of them. The event is so well planned and prepared, all you have to do is show up with a bike and everything else is taken care of. There's no packing sports drinks and thinking about food and thinking about all the things that you need for 24 hours. Everything is taken care of and that's amazing. It way exceeded anything I could imagine. Uh, the, the staff at 24 Hours of Booty does a terrific job. They're really friendly people. They know what they're doing. You know, the service on your bikes, the massages, the health care that were on site at the event really went above and beyond what I expected. And it's that kind of first-class treatment that's created an inescapable buzz surrounding the only 24-hour road cycling fundraising event in the country. Hey, everybody get down. And I think each year it gets easier and easier to put together the team because the, the event's grown so much, it's, it's caught the attention of, of the business leaders in town. And to some extent, the event is becoming a place where if you want to do business in town, you have to be seen at the event. And, that, and that's a great thing for the 24 Hours of Booty. Great for 24 Hours of Booty, but even greater for the cancer community and its supporters, which is what 24 Hours of Booty is all about. If I have to have the cancer, it's going to be a part of me now, so I'm not going to hate my life. I'm going to just say, all right, well, it's a part of me. What can I do with it? And so this is one way to do something good with it, is to help with the 24 hours of duty. And that, to me, makes all the difference moving forward. Moving forward to a cure for cancer. One person, one pledge, one pedal stroke at a time. I think 24 hours is unique because it is uh, sports oriented, but doesn't require um, a level of expertise in order to participate. So you see the serious cycling teams out on the course, um, and you know it's a thing of beauty to watch them go by. And at the same time, you might pass a little boy on a little training bike with his father. And so I, I think that that's one of the things that really makes it unique. All it is is. 1,300 people just doing a little bit more than they've ever done before. That's, to me, that's what the booty's all about.
Hi, I'm Spencer Luters, founder of 24 Hours of Booty. When I climbed on my bike for the first 24 Hours of Booty, it was just me, my bike, my family, and a desire to do something about cancer. I rode all day and all night, and during that time, I had a chance to meet many people who were personally affected in some way by cancer. Some cheered for me, some rode with me, but most of all, we inspired each other. And now, I'd like to personally invite you to join us for the next 24 Hours of Booty. Form a team, ride in honor of someone, get your friends and family involved. We are truly for everyone. You know, our motto is ordinary people, extraordinary cause. And I think that sums it up exactly. Thanks.